Exhausted with little time for herself, a nurse in Nina decided she was ready for a new look. So she's getting a Monday morning makeover. This is Devin Keen. She's tired and says her look is too. But it is not for long. Devin is with Joseph Whitnick at the Salon Professional Academy in Appleton. Good morning. Good morning, Rachel. How are you? I am here with Devin. And um, you're right. Devin wrote in. Her email was all about the not taking care of myself. And that always like trips my trigger and I feel like, why? I just wanna know why. So I, I reached out and, and contacted you. Mm -hmm. And good morning, your name is? Devin. I'm warming her up, she's <laughs> nervous. All right, Devin, um, what was your story? What was your story? I just don't take time for myself, so I don't take care of myself. And my question to you is, so are you told to not take care of yourself when you're a nurse? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but she's busy taking or, care um, of others, right? I know it. I know it. And you know what? I, I really did have the question of, is there a, a prerequisite of how you should look when you're at work, right? Because you're yeah. in scrubs, and I didn't know if you could wear a little makeup. You can. You just got to look presentable. You got to look presentable. And none of that has anything to do with blood pressure rising when you enter the room. No. Okay. <laughs> Good. So... Uh, <laughs> because, well, you know, come on. So, all right, Devin's hair. Um, it's well over a year old. We've talked about it. Um, I don't know how lucky I'm getting here, Rachel, but if you, we look down right now, she has a gray in here. Like, do you see all the multiple layers? Can you tell me you see all that? That's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's like shadows and lights. Well, that is a rarity. And, and Dia and I, both doing hair, knew that there was something that we were going to do today. And we're going to reshadow her freehanded. So it's something that we're going to add back in her natural color. But we're going to do it in ways that the way I'm going to cut it is going to give her more purpose, more story, more dimension. It's going to be more natural. Because both Dia, don't you agree? Dia, what about her skin? She has great skin. For someone who doesn't take care of herself, she has great skin, and that's really easy to work with, and I'm gonna show her um, how to take care of her skin with minimal makeup, and less is more is the thing. Yep, so less is more. So Dia's gonna show her how to put makeup on so she can at least look more lively and more awake, and then that'll make her work better, I think, at work. It, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. you'll take temperatures better. Yes, I will. Joseph, what are you gonna, well, I'll definitely what are you book gonna an do appointment. with the cut? I mean, is, she's well, got long I'm hair. Gonna bring are, it to are you going to keep some of that? Well, what I want to do is, you know, everyone out there knows that there's a lot of this vertical curling beach wavy stuff that's going on, and that is changing Miley Cyrus as she's bringing us back into the 60s where hair is more voluminous and projects off the head more than hanging close and vertical. So I'm gonna do a technique that is actually, I'm gonna bring her to clavicle, which will encumbrance her face more because attention needs to come to her face. Then I'm gonna do some interior softness so that when I curl it, it's gonna come out more into a pyramid to give her more volume because she can wear more volume. Because if you look at her overall, she's definitely got more of a narrow torso than wide. And I wanna flatter her glasses and I want her glasses to pop like she just bought them yesterday because they're the trend. So we have a lot to do this morning, Rachel. I'm really excited about right. it. I'm great. It's great to be here. And Devin, are you ready now? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, let's get on with this makeover and over with this interview. Uh, Joseph, Devin, Dia, thank you so much. We'll check back with you soon to see the progress of this makeover. And if you would like a makeover, that thank email you, went up on the screen. And if you missed it, I'll put it on our website. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be right back. A teacher, a doctor, a firefighter, and now a nurse. The theme of taking care of those who take care of the community <laughs> continues with a Monday morning makeover. That picture you saw was the before look of Devin Keene. She is a nurse in Nina, and she's getting a Monday morning makeover. Joseph and Dia are back to tell us about the progress so far. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Rachel. How are you? The progress is great. Um, I want to share with you a little bit about what's going on here. Common question asked is, how do I grow out my gray? And I'm going to use this as an example, because there is gray in Devin's hair overall. It, to me, it can look aging, and she's got a really youthful um, look about her. So what I'm doing is freehandedly, as I just freehandedly layered her hair, where her hair actually grows is where I layered it. 
<clears throat> but with this technique, and Rachel, you know this, because I talk to you about this all the time, about, you know, the deep root. You can either get it with, you know, that little spray can, or you can just have color dabbed at just the base. And then what I'm going to do is just take a few random pieces. Her natural color that is in there is actually the color that I'm mirroring. So I will take some of the gray I see, even the most minuscule amount will make a huge difference. And I'm gonna take that and just freehandedly paint those pieces. As I've done now through the majority of her style, and I'm just taking, um, rather than using foil, I'm dropping a cotton there so that this doesn't lie on the other hair that I'm working on. So this is gonna give a really fresh, new feeling <clears throat> to gray hair. So, <clears throat> excuse me, rather than growing gray out and having that line, yeah. go back in and break that line up cool. with the color that's on the ends and pull it through and you've got grow out, baby. I love it. Now I'm gonna throw it to Dia. Dia okay. has been talking with Devin. And what you got, Dia? All right, so for her eyebrows, um, she lost pigment towards the end of her eyebrows here, so I matched her color, the color here to the ends here, and you just want to take a light stroke to enhance the end of the eyebrows here. And eyebrows are a great way to and what are you using, Get your, Dia? Is that eyeshadow? So this is this is just eyeshadow because she's really minimal, and you want to make sure that you can utilize all of the product by just having a few items at home. So you can use your eyeshadow as eyeliner or as um, a brow filler, so that way you don't need a lot of stuff. And for her, shadow is soft and simple, so that way we don't need to add more things to her kit. Yeah, is there a, a prereq? Is there like a like is it two shades darker than your hair color or you've heard that before yes yeah, so now it just really depends on your option but for her because she wants to be minimal we match it to her natural so okay. that way we don't have right. a lot of maintenance do you Got need it. a special mm -hmm. brush for that you yes and no it just depends sometimes the kit comes with brushes so this is just a tiny angle brush that we just want to add Let's some see the color tip of that mm -hmm. brush so yes it is super um, delicate. Yeah, delicate. And nice. And yes, yeah, simple. And it doesn't have to be, the defined ones are good, but sometimes the defined can add a little bit more depth. So we want a little bit more softer to the brush to give it a softer look. Well, she's looking amazing that. already, guys. And I know you still have a, a, a good chunk of time, but just the, the, the change in the length of Excuse hair. Excuse me, what did you say? Chunk of change, <laughs> chunk did of you, time. Chunk of time? Yeah. Yeah, well, you time. know what? Never let them see you sweat. Never let them see you sweat. But beads of sweat have formed on my back over the last 15 minutes. You have less than an so, hour to get this makeover complete, and I know uh, you can do it. We have faith in you guys. Thank, thank you so you. much. Uh, and to learn more about the makeovers Thanks, and how to nominate someone by go, um, you can nominate yourself or someone you love go to our website fox11online.com and we'll be right back is up for today's monday morning makeover devin's a nurse in nina who spends so much time taking care of others it leaves a little time for herself this is what she looked like before joseph whitnick got to work with the help of makeup artist dia town and we can't wait to see what she looks like here they are for the final reveal let's start with you joseph how did it go you know what, it went super, super well. I think it's always amazing when we can do this kind of segment on TV and actually share with someone and answer the questions that they write in for. And Devin was a great example. She doesn't take a lot of time for herself. I cannot wait to show you though, because between Dee and I, we kind of, we, we did it. <laughs> so here, I'm gonna show you Devin, all right? You all right. ready? I'm ready. Here she is. We're all ready. Look at her. Oh, so pretty. What do you think? And ready for springtime. Yeah, I'm ready. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I do, yes. <laughs> She really does. I know she's I nervous. I just got to pinch Devin, her a little bit. Yeah, Devin, what do you think of the hair and makeup that you got today? I mean, it's my first time wearing makeup, like, ever, and I do like the short hair, so I, I do like it. Yeah. Yeah, it looks yeah. really and great. You made a comment about, yeah, and I want to show you something, because this is what's really cool. Um, I want you to turn a little, and I want Mike to capture, because what I want you to see is what we did is took her natural tone through 
the gray. You see that? Yeah, that's amazing. So, it's like the gray is yeah, her it'll... highlighter, highlighting part. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> instead of not like damaging hair with highlighting, but you know what? She had the tonal value. Let me turn it around so you can see it all over. Um, and what I did here was just really layer only the bottom. It wasn't necessary to layer this. I, I'm not really a long, all one length kind of person. I like, I like kind of stuff going on here. This has got, here's another good example of her gray with the color going through it. Isn't that cool? It's really so pretty, yeah. So that's what you do. Bring your bottom color through the gray as you're weaving. And Dia, what's your takeaway? Takeaway is that with oh, minimal uh, yes, with minimal <laughs> skincare and makeup, you can get a full look by using just a few items like eyeshadow or your blush color for cheek and for lip at the same time. So that is really simple for her to add to her toolkit. Yeah, I bet it was in a closing, shock when she like looked in the mirror. I know, she's gonna start a rash. She was shocked, let me tell you. I don't wanna tell you what she said because I don't go to circus and see these people. But um, what would you like to say to all of that nursing community out there that's watching you right now through all the hospitals in this area? I, I guess don't waste time and don't, I don't know. I, I know. I wonder what I mean, fellow I, nurses nurse, are gonna say. They're gonna love it. They are just gonna love yeah, hearing they you will. look. They will, won't they? they? Will. Yeah. They're going. Oh. Okay. Well, we just. Well, good thing we got they, through most I'm of that. Proud. Oh, Joseph, you're kind of going in and out, but go ahead. Why don't you wrap it up for us? All right. I'm going to wrap it up by saying that anyone that's interested in coming and joining us at the Salon Professional Academy, please contact me, and I can get you in here uh, for anything that you need done. They're very professional here. The students of today are way more experienced than ever. Thank you, Dia, oh, yes. alumni of the Salon Professional Academy. Thank you, Devin, and say hi to all your friends back, back and when, all right? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rachel, thank you so much. On behalf of Joseph, Dia, and Devin, I send it off to you. Have a fantastic day and keep writing in. You Love can, you guys. All right, thanks Peace. guys, great job. And you can watch the whole process that we showed you on Good Day Wisconsin by going to fox11online.com.